in the grand scheme of things, scripting does not matter. Building does not matter. Modeling does not matter. UI design does not matter. Animation does not matter. Nothing matters except strategy first. The most important thing devs can understand is strategy first Roblox game development. The reason for this is strategy first is how you build a career in the first place. Most devs are hobbyists. A lot of people take that as an insult. It's just a category. Most devs put passion first. Putting passion first, right? it, it can lead you to being an artist, right? To making things that you love, to making, trying to make complex projects, to learning new skills. But the problem with it is that in most cases, it does not lead to results. Like statistically, most devs are not successful. Statistically, there are millions of devs out there, but most of them don't have a front page game, don't have a big successful dev YouTube channel like me, don't have commission work that they're taking and earning a lot from or a living from consistently. Most devs are stuck just working on things they love. Now, thing is, devs will say, oh yeah, I just do it for the fun. I don't do it for the money. And if that's true, that's fine. I would call you a casual, not a hobbyist. But the thing is, a hobbyist is different because they expect results from their hobbyism. I use the word hobbyist to describe somebody who expects passion to equal success, who expects making their dream game or the most complex game in the world, the next jailbreak on day one to equal success. And what this does is it causes devs to ignore marketing, business, and strategic long-term thinking. Strategy first is not about telling devs to make slop or cash grabs. It's about first and foremost, telling devs to think ahead. Thinking ahead is just imagining the future. It's thinking, okay, in a year, where do I wanna be as a developer? Do I wanna do this as my job? Do I want to make 10,000 a month? Do I wanna make my dream game in a year? What do I want to do? Most devs never do this first step, right? Just thinking ahead and coming up with goals and figuring out what you want. When you think ahead, now you're able to make sure that your moves now help you to reach your goals in the future. That's it. Strategy is just planning. It's planning. You could call strategy first, planning first. Now, where making simple games comes into this is the second part of this equation. So you're gonna have some goals. And the main goal that matters in building a career is money. This isn't about greed. This is about sustaining yourself financially and building leverage. This is about having the money to be able to spend all your time on this, to be able to spend eight hours a day working on your projects. You cannot do that when you don't have income. When you are an adult, if you don't have a way to make money, you're done, it's over. Most devs who are adults or who become adults get stuck working some other job that they don't like when they would rather be doing Roblox development full time. This channel exists to fix this and provide the solution. When you are stuck at that job, you don't have time to make Roblox games. Your career cannot exist. So the point of strategy first thinking is to plan the moves that will allow you to make this your job. In order to do that, the second part of the equation comes in. What is the most logical move if you wanna make a lot of money on Roblox? If you want to earn the funds needed to make this your full-time job, to spend all your time on this, to sustain yourself, your groceries, your bills, 100% from Roblox development. And that could be from any source. What is the number one best move? It's to make simple games. But the problem is most people think that all simple games are cash grabs or slop. Devs think that making simple games is wrong. So this is the second problem, right? So first of all, devs don't plan ahead. But then second of all, even if they do, any move that would be the most logical, 
useful move to push their career forward is painted as a bad thing to do. It is morally wrong to make a simple game. But this is false for many reasons, right? This isn't to say you should make pay to win games or gambling games. There's a big difference between that and making a simple game. This is to say you should make something that is not massive, right? It doesn't need perfect graphics. It doesn't need an open world map. It doesn't need RTX on level quality. It doesn't need substance painter drawn rocks with every single crack detailed with a Wacom tablet. It does not need all those things. All it needs is gameplay and marketing. That's it. If you don't have a perfect map, you're going to be fine. In fact, you can use free models to build your map. And as long as the functionality is there and then the proper presentation and promotion of your game is done, you can get players. The reason that scripting matters more than building is that the gameplay is made with code, right? And gameplay is rooted in game design, right? And game design is the most important thing in making a game, right? Figuring out the art and science of how to make your game fun. So if that's the case, the most prominent step to turn that game design into a playable prototype is to code the main systems. So devs are truly needing to figure out the 80-20 rule. The 80-20 rule is the Pareto principle. It states that 20% of our actions lead to 80% of our results. And this goes for a ton of things. You can apply this to almost anything in life. But in Roblox games, this is essential. But telling them to make simple games triggers them. The reason this triggers them is they attach their identity to making complex passion projects. I know this because I was one of them. I attached my identity to this beautiful game I wanted to make. But the problem with that is you're attaching your identity to a game that's going to take a long time to complete as a solo dev or as a dev with a small and inexperienced team. So you'd be better off making simple games first. But then that goes back to the problem that we were just talking about. Devs hold shame to this. They feel bad about it. I remember back in my days on Roblox back in 2021 when I was working on this complex game. I thought about the prospect of making simulators, but I thought it wasn't real. It wasn't right, which is really just nonsense because simulators or another type of simple game are just stepping stones in your career. And you need to go step by step to your goals. You can't just make a big leap from the base of the mountain, Mount Everest, all the way to the top all at once. That's not how mountain climbing works. And that definitely isn't how Roblox development works. But this is what nearly every single dev, and I mean almost every dev, is doing. You will find dev forum articles about this, YouTube comments about this, videos about this. It's the hobbyist mindset in action. Now the problem is when you say that the hobbyist mindset has problems, this triggers people because they value their passion. They value their big game ideas. They value creativity. And all those things are good things. I 100% agree. Passion is great. But the problem is people let passion control them and lead them astray into perfectionism and extremely high standards. But when you hold your high standards as not just standards, but as moral dogma, that you must follow, this makes you trapped in hobbyist hell. You are endlessly working on big games, massive projects with massive open world maps, every single system scripted to perfection with clean code, every single model designed with hours of hard work in Blender, and usually all by yourself. It sounds like a good hardworking dev on the surface. They are a hardworking dev. But this doesn't lead to results because they aren't getting anything out. The most important thing to get results is to get something out there, to ship. Devs fail to ship a project in the first place because they're focused on their perfectionist, hobbyist games. They're making their passion projects first before they're truly ready to do it. Then they spend usually years on this. And while in that time, in those years, they could have released 
15 simple games. And guess what? When you release 15 games to the market, whether it's simple or complex or whatever, you have a higher odds. One of those games hits, one of those games gets 1,000 CCU. Or in that time, say you don't even make games. You could be taking commissions or posting YouTube videos about development like me. Now you have odds that you actually earn something for your work, for your skills, for your talent. Wouldn't you agree that you deserve something for that? You deserve to be paid. You deserve to make money. It is not a bad thing. Business is a very good thing for you and the people who end up working with you. They gain value from the transaction as well. So this is the problem with hobbyist thinking, right? I don't have a problem with passion per se. I don't have a problem with hard work. I don't have a problem with hobbyist developers. Like, I don't hate them. I see an ineffective approach that I want devs to change and shift out of so they can do better because I was in those shoes. So I empathize with it, right? And when I come on this camera and I talk about this every day, it is because I wish someone told me this when I was a new dev. I wish someone told me this five years ago, but the channel Smarty RBX did not exist. These videos did not exist. Strategy first, the term did not exist. I came to this conclusion, not from just waking up, rolling out of bed one day, drinking my coffee and just thinking, oh, I just wanna make some YouTube videos. So what do I talk about? Eh, this sounds cool, strategy first. No, this was a years long discovery. This was me going through trials and tribulations, failures and successes and starting to see patterns. See, I'm a guy who's very good at pattern recognition. I see the patterns and I can point those out and you can like them or not, but they are there. Right? And if you choose to stay in the hobbyist mindset just out of stubbornness, you aren't holding anyone back but yourself. I put these videos out to help you, to help other devs, right? And whether you're a hater, a fan, a critic, whatever, I hope that you come to the truth because strategy first is exactly how Roblox game development works. It is the most comprehensive framework anyone has made of how to make a career and succeed in this field. Nobody else has compiled it as much as me. And you can choose to take that or leave that, right? Because strategy first is dynamic, right? The hobbyist mindset actually says, don't make market aligned games. Don't make slop. They call games that work slop because they like to shame devs for making something that doesn't seem to align with the hobbyist mindset. It doesn't seem to be the perfect game. They like to take that down. The strategy first mindset instead says, hey, you can make a passion project or a simple game, but it is observed that the best approach is to make simple games first. But it doesn't say never make passion projects, only focus on strategic games. Never, never once does it say that, but people have to say, right? They have to mischaracterize what strategy first is saying because otherwise, they would have to confront the harsh truth that their ego doesn't want to accept. They don't want to accept strategy first because it would show that they have been approaching Roblox development wrong this entire time. It would expose them. Some people will say, oh, Smarty, you're repeating yourself. That's exactly why they say that. They're simply uncomfortable with the message. Hell yes, I'm going to repeat this because this is the most important thing devs can understand. So join scripting secrets below. We have a full module on strategy first and more lessons dropping all the time. This is a great course that will help you to learn scripting, business thinking, how to make your games grow and more. See you inside. Click this video here to learn more about the strategy first mindset and I will see you next time. Peace.